Yahusha, Joshua 6. Now, Yericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Yasherael. None went out and none came in. And Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, See, I have given into your hand Eth Yericho, and Eth the king thereof, and the mighty man of valor, and ye shall compass Eth the city, all ye men of war, and go round about Eth the city once. Thus shall you do six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven shofars of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass eth the city seven times. And the priests shall blow with the shofars. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear eth the sound of the shofar, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up, every man straight before him. And Yahusha, the son of Nun, called the priests and said unto them, Take up eth the Ark of the Covenant, and let seven priests bear seven shofars of ram's horns before the Ark of Yahuwah. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compass eth the city. And let him that is armed pass on before the ark of Yahuwah. And it came to pass, when Yahusha had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven shofars of ram's horns passed on before Yahuwah, and blew with the shofars, and the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah followed them. And the armed men went before the priests that blew with the shofars. And the rear word came after the Ark, the priests going on and blowing with the shofars. And Yahusha had commanded Eth the people, saying, Ye shall not shout, nor make eth noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I bid you shout, then shall ye shout. So the ark of Yahuwah compassed eth the city, going about it once, and they came into the camp, and lodged in the camp. And Yahusha rose early in the morning, and the priests took up Eth the Ark of Yahuwah, and seven priests bearing seven shofars of ram's horns before the Ark of Yahuwah went on continually, and blew with the shofars, and the armed men went before them. But the rear word came after the ark of Yahuwah, the priests going on and blowing with the shofars. And the second day they compassed Eth the city once, and returned into the camp. So they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed eth the city after the same manner seven times. 
only on that day, they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew with the shofars, Yahusha said unto the people, Shout, for Yahuwah has given you eth the city, and the city shall be accursed, even it and all that are therein, to Yahuwah. Only Rachav, the harlot, shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she hid eth the messengers that we sent. And ye, in any wise guard yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourselves accursed, when ye take of the accursed thing, and make eth the camp of Yashara'el a curse, and trouble it. But all the silver and gold and vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto Yahuwah. They shall come into the treasury of Yahuwah. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the shofars. And it came to pass when the people heard eth the sound of the shofar, and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took eth the city. And they utterly destroyed Eth all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox and sheep and ass with the edge of the sword. But Yahusha had said unto the two men that had spied out Eth the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out thence Eth the woman, and Eth all that she has, as ye swore unto her. And the young men that were spies went in, and brought out Eth Rachav, and Eth her father, and Eth her mother, and Eth her brethren, and Eth all that she had. And they brought out Eth all her kindred, and left them without the camp of Yashara'el. And they burnt the city with fire, and all that was therein, only the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass and of iron. They put into the treasury of the house of Yahuwah. And Yahusha saved Eth Rachav, the harlot, alive, and Eth her father's household, and Eth all that she had. And she dwells in Yashara'el, even unto this day, because she hid eth the messengers, which Yahusha sent to spy out eth Yericho. And Yahusha adjured them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before Yahuwah that rises up and builds eth this city eth Yericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn. And in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So 
Yahuwah, was with Eth Yahusha, and his fame was noised throughout all the country.